of the forecast with Brian Miskimmons. And good Sunday evening to you. Certainly you know, heard some people saying, wow, seeing some rain today. That certainly was a nice blessing for the gardens at least and the lawns. Out the door tonight, definitely scattered showers will be moving up the valley. So not a totally dry night, but definitely not as soaking as we saw during that midday section when we saw that hour or two of steady rain and temperatures drop into the mid 60s. Now out the door in the morning, I think we start mostly dry, partly to mostly sunny skies. Now as we get from about two to about five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, the risk of showers definitely goes up, and I'll show you why here in a minute. 77 degrees there at five o'clock, so going to be kind of a muggy day. Let's take a look at our rainfall rates. Wow, check out Redmond from those cells past and over today, an inch and a quarter, only eight one hundredths of an inch here in Portland and 26 one hundredths of an inch there in the Dalles. And some of our wet spots on our pinpoint weather net coming in at Central Point, the airport there, 32 one hundredths. Bend at our sister station over there, Juniper, Juniper Elementary School, 27 one hundredths of an inch, uh, almost a quarter of an inch at Colonel Wright Elementary School in the Dalles and just a little shy of two tenths of an inch there in Sio this afternoon. A live look at Bob Lanfear's Beaverton Honda looking west towards 217, 68 degrees, only four one hundredths of an inch of rain in the rain bucket there. Statewide highs, 71, all the better we could do for Portland and Salem, only 69 for Eugene, 74 for Redmond, and 85 for Pendleton. The east side, the far east side of the state was really this part that was mainly spared today. Red flag warning is in effect all the way through about 11 o'clock tonight for these areas, so definitely something to keep in mind. Live Doppler, we're pretty much settled down. This one cell that really put down quite a bit of hail and rain and thunder and lightning east of the Cascades that's since drifting into the south, south Washington Cascades. I'm going to back out a little bit further. There's another front knocking on our doorstep, but notice all that clearing between. Uh, Portland and basically that front. So that's going to move in here later on today. However, as it does so, it's going to kind of bounce back and forth. I'm going to walk you through raincast the next 24 to few next few days. You can see just some passing clouds from time to time on Monday. I'm going to pause this tomorrow afternoon. Notice those showers on fast approach. And then watch as we go into Tuesday, they back off. So it's really something we're going to have to watch closely. The further east you go, the drier you're going to be tomorrow. The further west you go, the wetter you're going to be. So kind of keep that in mind. And then just some mountain showers on Tuesday. And at this point, it looks like most of Wednesday is dry. However, I have left the risk of a shower in the forecast at that time. So let's break down the forecast. The coast, mainly dry start. Otherwise, showers increasing in the afternoon. A mix of clouds and sun for the I-5 corridor. Some showers possible in the afternoon. East of the Cascades, mostly sunny skies. May see a pop-up storm or shower in the afternoon far northeast Oregon. Otherwise, it's a dry day. Mostly sunny skies for the gorge. West winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. And mostly sunny skies as well for the Cascades. And here in the Portland metropolitan area, a mix of clouds and sun. Increasing clouds, though, more in the afternoon with showers possible late in the day. Afternoon highs generally upper 70s. Tonight's lows down into the 50s for all areas. And your seven-day forecast. Yeah, it's certainly looking a little bit damp for late August. In fact, here we go, the final parts of the seven-day forecast. Check out Labor Day weekend. I've been warning you, it, we, we got a couple more things to get through. Monday, Labor Day still looks fantastic, but look at Sunday. Rain at times and temperatures struggling to even make it to 60 or 70 degrees, so it's going to be... Uh, a little bit damp around here next Labor Day weekend. Well, I must admit that the rain felt pretty good this morning. It really did. Yeah, I didn't hear any complaints about it. All right, thanks a lot, Brian. Yeah.